All right, what do you say we have a look? Well, we're gonna have a we're gonna build this thing too. Red Wing Milling Company. You see that? A friend of mine decided he's gonna do an N scale layout, an eleven by eleven. So he's gonna be needing a lot of these buildings because he wants to do a city. And uh, so I took I took a couple of his buildings, so he's not so overwhelmed. And I'm gonna go ahead and start a few of his buildings. But today, well, this is Merchants Row Three. We're not building this one today. We're going to be building the Red Wing Milling Company. So what do you say we crack this open and see what's inside? All right. I got the cellophane off, and we're going to go right in. What is this here? Oh, generic box. I just put new sleeves on them. It's actually quite smart to save on money. Let's see what kind of parts we have here. A lot of windows, it looks like. Let's just uh, cut this right open. That razor knife wouldn't cut hot butter. Come on! Empty. And we have our instructions. Oh, we have some decals. Water slide. Nice because we can weather these up. I hate stickers. King Midas flower. Gold metal. You know what? That gold metal might be good. We have gold metal in our area. And Pillsbury. So yeah. There's that. Put this back in the box. And there is our assembly instructions. Pretty straightforward. The uh, task here is painting and detailing. I'm going to guess they give you, it says, first glue all window frames to the respective uh, places on the walls. Next, glue the various doors in place on the walls. I'm not going to do that. I've been modeling a long time. If the windows are all going to be one color, which I'm going to guess they have, uh, these numbers are just sprue numbers, not paint uh, numbers. Like a car model will give you numbers and tell you that paint. I'm not going to assemble this without painting this. There's no way. So this has to be painted first. All of this. But I will paint it primary colors. And then we will come back with some detailing. All right. Got the building structure primed up. Got that painted black. That's all the roofing structures and the stair rails. These are all the windows. I painted those a gray primer, a very light dusting, just to kill that green, because we plan on coming back and weathering those before we start gluing them into the structure. All right, give me an update. I got all the windows glued in. Wow, what a pain in the butt that was. And I did some weathering, as you can see. I just finished all of the windows. And I guess I thought I was recording when I was weathering, but I wasn't. Let me give you a quick uh, recap of what I've done so far. You see the real original windows were this really deep hunter green or British green. Well, after I primed them, I came back with a, a mix of paints to create like a rust look. Let's see if I can get a better example. I'm losing it in the light there. And after I get this building assembled... We'll come back and we will do some more uh, weathering. I couldn't even do any more weathering until I got it assembled because these windows had to be glued in. And so there's that. Then I just now finished assembling the chimney and filling the seams and sanding it. So it's ready to move forward with some more weathering. All right, we got this building assembled, but we have some uh, work to do. I'm not going to put any of those details on until I get this building sanded, filled, and weathered. Now, uh, I have this, see this corner here I did here? Well, let me find a really good example. You see this example right here where the seam doesn't go quite together? And uh, I'm sure the seam was fine, but when you're trying to work really fast and get these uh, sides assembled, you think you have it all uh, tightly together, and you don't. 
So it ended up drying that way. But I'm going to show you a trick to that too. There is one corner I did here. You see this corner here is nice and tight. Well, it looked like that corner too. Basically, I took a file. I'm going to show you right now on this one or even on this one right here. Take a file on the corner here. And you file the two at the same time. And some people would probably fill that and lightly sand it. And if I need to, I will. But sometimes the filing here, all the way down to the middle, you get those two plastic joints to meet. And, uh, just like that. No more gap. So we're going to do that all the way around. I'm going to do that to every corner, whether it's sealed or not. Because I like that look. And uh, this look looks like it's been glued together, as does this one. There's a very sharp edge right there. And when you file that, you just kind of make it look natural. So that's what we're, we're going to be doing now. All right, I got my corners all softened up. Uh, I think I'm ready to move forward on some weathering. And, uh, yeah, those corners look really good now. Nice and smooth. So yeah, that's uh, coming around really nicely. So moving right along. All right, so uh, we got our building assembled, and I made a very, very thin black wash. So this is probably one part black to 50 parts water. You know, or you can use alcohol if you want it to dry faster. But before that, you still want to check your consistency, see how the wash runs. And I'm going to check that consistency on this corrugated roof here. So, we'll just touch here and see what happens. To me, that still seems kind of thick. Let's see what happens if I brush it out. Oh, no, it's not bad. It's not bad. It's something I can deal with. I can make this work. Yeah, that'll work for me. Nice and dirty. Let's get these two while we're at it. Yeah, let's just wash this whole silver down. You can get rid of some of your excess right there. Tops of these roof vents. I'm not so sure those are roof vents, but There. I think I can uh, deal with that. Might as well do these two. Just get some dirt on there. Because uh, the railroad, this is going on. This is not pristine like Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood. This is a nitty-gritty city scene. So, I want some dirt on these structures. Just a nice wash. Set it aside. Move on. Got three of these to do. Uh, 
All right. Let's see how this goes on this uh, <clears throat> building here. We'll start someplace inconspicuous, like, uh, I'm not sure how this is going to sit on the layout, but let's start at the top of the building here. And basically, what we want to do is, I think we want to start under the eave. Just let that kind of just catch the dirt right there as it would naturally would. And if you're fast, you can wipe it down. I just want to make this dirty, you know? Dab at it there, make it really look dirty. All right, so I'm going to do this on the whole building, and I'll be back. All right, we have our buildings washed, or our building washed. Nice and gritty. I threw a little copper around the gutters. Tarnished them green. And, uh, yeah, I'll take a little strip, find some details now. Here's an update. I just spent about 25 minutes assembling these, uh, fire escapes. And, uh, yeah, wow, you know, lots of little parts. All right, well, we're moving right along. Um, I feel, I still got a few, um, uh, details to do, such as, uh, the steps and the dock itself. And, uh, yeah, and then we'll come back and we'll talk about the fit and the fiddle of this model. All right, this is as far as I'm going on this building. Yeah, um, most parts fit okay. But these guys here, these vacuum filters or whatever they are, they were a bear to fit. Let me show you what I'm talking about. You see any of the discrepancy in that part right there? They were just a pain in the ass to put together. And, uh, wow. But I think that looks really, really sharp. A lot of window pieces to, uh, do. This building's got a lot of windows. So you have to cut out every window. First, I would suggest weathering them on the sprue. Doing all your painting on the sprue. And then, uh, detaching them from the sprue and cleaning up all the flashing. And then you got to glue the glass in behind it after you glue the windows into the, the structure itself. And then you can come back and glue your building together. But, uh, yeah, this is, like I said, as far as I'm going, this is an end scale. It looks bigger on the camera than it does. You see, my hand just kind of hides that. It looks bigger on the camera than it does in, in real life here. So, yeah, I mean, wow, it's quite a few to go, but uh, I didn't go with the Red Wing Mills here. You see where it says Red Wing? I went with the gold medal because that's kind of local to us, but uh, here are some of the selections they give you. Of course, there's the one on the box. There's Pillsbury, King Midas, Robin Hood Flower, and Centennial Mills there. I chose to go with the one that I know the best, and I know Pillsbury, too, but, yeah. And there is our finished building. Let's have a walk around here. So, yeah, very cool. I think anybody would like to have that on their in-scale layout, and I think the guy who owns this and building the layout is going to love this, so, yeah. All right. Hey, thanks for watching my videos.